Sute de milioane de vizualizări are cel mai comentat interviu al momentului. Protagoniști, dictatorul de la Kremlin, Vladimir Putin și populara vedetă media Tucker Carlson, admirat și contestat deopotrivă. A fost o acțiune de propagandă a Kremlinului, acuză cei mai mulți analiști. Cert este că Vladimir Putin a profitat de ocazie pentru a-și propaga mesajele și pentru a agita spiritele. El a sugerat că Ungaria și România ar avea dreptul să revendice teritorii din Ucraina, deși uh, nu au voie. Dar și că Victor Orban, prietenul său din Ungaria, este pedepsit de liderii Uniunii Europene pentru că a îndrăznit să vorbească. That is how the Soviet Ukraine was created. After the World War II, Ukraine received, in addition to the lands that had belonged to Poland before the war, part of the lands that had previously belonged to Hungary and Romania. So Romania and Hungary had some of their lands taken away and given to the Soviet Ukraine, and they still remain part of Ukraine. So in this sense, we have every reason to affirm that Ukraine is an artificial state that was shaped at Stalin's will. Have you told Viktor Orban that he can have part of Ukraine? Never. I have never told him. Not a single time. Somewhere in the early 80s, I went on a road trip in a car from then Leningrad across the Soviet Union through Kiev. Made a stop in Kiev and then went to western Ukraine. I went to the town of Beregovoye. And all the names of towns and villages there were in Russian and in the language I did not understand, in Hungarian in Russian and in Hungarian, not in Ukrainian, in Russian and in Hungarian. They were wearing black three-piece suits and black cylinder hats. I asked, are they some kind of entertainers? I was told, no, they were not entertainers, they're Hungarians. I said, what are they doing here? What do you mean? This is their land, they live here. This was during the Soviet time in the 1980s. They preserved the Hungarian language, Hungarian names and all their national costumes.